Sir, in this age of competition, sometimes we try very hard for various type of exams. It could be. And sometimes and many times it is possible that we remain very close, but we end up at a failure side. If it keeps getting continuing, it's not that we not want, we want that. But doesn't that regular failure can hamper our self-confidence? If it does, then how to deal with it? So, are you asking how to deal with repeated failures? That's the question. No. Dealing with repeated failures is not a problem, provided you are failing at something worthwhile. The more important question is, what are you failing at? Equally, the more important question is, what are you succeeding at? We just say, I am successful or I am a failure. Why don't we complete the description? What exactly are we successful at? What have we obtained? Or is it so that we didn't bother to go deeply into that and we just went by the commonly socially accepted definitions of success and failure? Do what is worth doing. Hmm? Relate this answer to the answer I gave to your neighbor. And then, failure would not mean so much to you. Equally, success too will not mean so much to you. It is the doing that will matter. You will say, I am grateful. I am getting to do what is worth doing. Success or failure, they depend on a thousand factors, some internal, some external. And I have no handle over all those factors. I may succeed, I may fail. I may have a great role in my success. I may have no role in my failure. All these permutations are possible. Sometimes it's possible that you might be the architect of your success. Sometimes it's possible that you are a failure, despite all your brilliance. And you cannot really make this thing deterministic. Because the world in that sense is an open-ended system, in which there are not only infinite number of variables, but also a constant flux of interdependent variables. How do you really control them or manage them? You cannot. The only thing you have some authority over is your own self. Right? And that self must choose what to do, what to pick. How does it decide what to pick? By seeing where its own incomplete lessons lie. If I must be complete, if I must be restful, if I must be genuine and authentic, then what should be the nature of work that I choose for myself? Not work that makes me feel happy as I am, but work that challenges my insecurities. Work that chisels me down. Work that actually reduces me. Because what is it that I am additionally carrying? I am authentic. And additionally, I am carrying a sense, a false sense, a borrowed sense of incompleteness. So I need to choose work that will really challenge my weaknesses. I need not pick up work that is suited to my strengths. I must do that which I am really afraid of doing. And that is the right definition of work. Work is not something that you do in order to inflate yourself or to fatten your pockets. Work is something you engage in in order to challenge yourself, reduce yourself, beat yourself, ground yourself to dust. That's the right definition of work. And every young person, and most of us here are quite young, who is about to choose 
a career decide on work in life must keep this in mind my humble advice see what is it that really troubles you really really and then work should be the medicine for your trouble that's the way you must choose work therefore work is not something that you can choose as per the prevailing norms in your hostel or institution or family or country work is something that you have to choose very very individually for yourself just as one chooses somebody to love work should be your first love right and the same principles need to be followed in this choice as well choose a person who will challenge you not someone who will pamper you console you tell you you are beautiful as you are and in the very same way choose work choose work that will really be difficult to handle because if it is difficult to handle then maybe it will not offer you much remuneration you will not be called an expert but it will rid you of those parts of yourselves that are weak in weakness lies fear hmm? 